Good morning, good morning, good morning. God is good all the time and all the time. God is good. I'm back. Yes, I, we're finally back to another episode of This Is Today. We had gone through a period of change and transition, but we're finally back. Um, we had to take a little hiatus there for a bit. Our behind the scenes guy, uh, Carl Amediato, who helps to pull all of this together, he was moving to another state. And so I like to take time to thank Carl for all of his hard work. Whether day or night, I could always contact him. He worked tirelessly behind the scenes pulling all of this together. So since Carl has moved, I had to learn a lot of it myself. So I thank God for Carl and I thank God for the ability to learn all that I need to learn to continue to bring these episodes to you. So with that, we welcome you to another episode of This Is Today. And hopefully we'll, we will continue now on a steady path going forward. So our scripture this morning comes from the book of Proverbs. And it reads from Proverbs 4.25, it reads, Look straight ahead and fix your eyes on what lies before you. God's word for the people of God. Amen. So I want to talk for a few minutes about uh, choose a focus for today. Let's pray. Gracious Lord, be with us now in our time together and bless our time together. And may you be glorified through Christ our Lord, we ask and pray. Amen. What do you tend to focus on during the day? Think about that for a minute. What do you tend to focus on during the day? Is it news? You tend to focus on the news and all the current events in the world? Do you tend to focus on sports and all that goes on in the sporting arena? Do you, are you a weather watcher? tend to focus on the weather. You tend to focus on family, friends, and the things that they're doing or the things that they're into. Think about that for a moment. What are the things that preoccupy your mind? What are the things that preoccupy your mind, your thoughts? And some people tend to focus on negative things. And so their outlook is negative. I knew a person one time, uh, many years ago, just focused on all of the negative stuff. And as a result, the person was very bitter because of focusing on the negative. And some focus on positive things and their outlook is positive. I always, I always like to see people who focus on positive things because their outlook is, posit is positive, and they're positive, and they radiate positivity towards others. What we focus on will affect our behavior, good or bad. The things that we focus on will affect our behavior. Now, Solomon, the writer of today's passage, he knew this. He said, let your eyes look straight ahead. Fix your gaze directly before you. Straight ahead, your gaze. And then the verse before that, he said, to guard your heart for everything you do flows from it. So our focus and our heart are two important things that we must guard because everything flows from the heart. So if I have a heart of bitterness or malice or hatred, it's going to flow. 
if my focus is on negative things. It, 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 it's going to eventually come out. It's going to affect my behavior. So it's important to have a focus. We can focus on all the wonderful things that our Lord has done for us. Or we can focus on a uh, basically doubt or worry. You know, what we focus on will affect us. As believers, we have to keep our eyes fixed on the Lord and what is before us. If we're going to stay on the path of righteousness. So if we're going to live as believers in a strange and messed up world, we must keep our eyes focused on the Lord. Take a Bible verse and let that be your focus for the day. Or, you know, uh, take a, um, a certain prayer and let that be your focus. Whatever we do, our focus must remain on the God who loves us, the God who cares for us, the God who saves us, the God who redeems us. Those are the things we need to focus on. And then I think we also need to stop listening to the various voices of chatter that comes our way. Not everything that we hear or see is good for us spiritually. And if we are to grow in our faith, we must have a steady diet of things that are positive, of things that will help grow our faith and increase our faith, of things that will help grow our spiritual walk in the Lord. And those are the things we need to focus on. So what's your focus for today? What are the things that you're focusing on? Remember, if we focus on the Lord and we guard our hearts, God will continue to be with us and strengthen us as we continue on this journey. Why will God be with us, continue to be with us? Because our faith will have grown and we know that no matter what, we serve a God who loves and cares for us. Amen. Let's pray. Gracious Lord, we thank you. We thank you because we know that our focus can be on you. So continue to be with us and help us to stay focused on you. Help us to guard our hearts and help us to know, Lord, that we can always cast all of our cares onto you. Help us to think on positive things and not the negative. Because Lord, if we focus on the negative, it'll only, Lord, quench our spirit, but help us to focus on positive things so that you may be glorified. In Jesus' name we pray, amen. Hey, folks, it's been a blessing to be with you today. We're back every Wednesday. This is the day. So I look forward to bringing you the good word. May God bless you and keep you. Be safe, be strong, and be a blessing. Until next time, take care. Bye-bye.